Hello guys, Putin is terrified because President Macron once again repeated it may be that one day French soldiers will come to Ukraine to help us fight with Russian invaders. And on the next day, James Cameron stated Ukrainian armed forces are allowed to use storm shadows to target military objects on the territory of Russian Federation. This literally made Putin and Co. furious but extremely terrified. Now I have a question to you. Do you feel safe with Putin on this planet? Do you think he will stop if not stopped in Ukraine? The answer is no. And all sane European politicians have already understood it is not about Ukraine, it is not about Georgia, it is not about some territories next to Russia. It is about the dominance in this world and this war is civilizational between democratic countries and authoritarian regimes. That's why it is so important to stay united. Let me tell you more about these important statements of European politicians and how we feel about them in Ukraine and why you should not be afraid of such statements and know they are not an escalation. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. Putin, for decades, tried to manipulate politics in the world. Not just in Ukraine or former unfortunate republics of the Soviet Union, which he dreams to unite in another monstrous Union empire or whatever they call it, but also in different corners of the world, sometimes really far away from Russia. And always lies, money and manipulation. And I think that all sane and adequate people understand that Russia and other authoritarian regimes are a threat to any person in any corner of the world because their plans, their evil intentions, they do not end with a particular region or a particular plant or a particular sum of money. They want to dominate the world and they want to insert their evil rules in our healthy societies. That is actually the only way for them to survive. Can you imagine like Putin living in a normal country or remaining alive in Russia after some global changes take place there? Impossible to imagine, but still. So anyway, uh, I don't want to imagine that, but even hypothetically, if he takes Ukraine, I'm sure all of you understand he will continue. And not only to Poland or the countries of uh, the Baltics, but wherever he wants and some countries won't be that resilient as Ukraine. We do know what evil Russia is. We have 300 years of wars with them and we realize this fight is existential. Some healthy societies located far away from dark Kremlin uh, life may see it differently or may have lost the ability to fight so actively. And honestly, I have to tell you that many subscribers tell me, oh, I'm not sure we would stay that strong, we would stay that motivated after years of war in our own country. That's why, once again, I want to stress, it is vital for us to win and stop Putin in Ukraine. Too many sacrifices already. I have never wanted my country to be a battlefield. But after so many territories destroyed, infrastructures lost, it is better that we finish this evil here and it has to be Russian defeat, not a frozen conflict, not a negotiation process. This has to be total collapse of Kremlin regime and years of work with a zombified society. Many people who watch these videos are not yet subscribed. Please do. This is the easiest but still very effective way to demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine. President Macron once again repeats that he is considering an option that one day French soldiers may come to Ukraine and help us and help us. Of course, at this moment, nobody speaks about them fighting on the front lines and hopefully they won't have to do that 
in their own front lines. Because once again, if Putin is not stopped in Ukraine, he will continue in years, decades, or people like Putin. They will be a general threat for the generations of Europeans. And yes, this will also influence the United States and Canada and Australia and all the other countries of the world in different forms, in different ways. So, uh, what this international soldiers can do in Ukraine, it was discussed on numerous conferences and in uh, political conversations. They can train Ukrainians. They can, because that's a lot of problems with logistics when our soldiers have to travel to the UK, for example, or to Germany. It takes a lot of time, money and effort. Also, they can demine territories or they can learn from us or they can help us reform the army to the standards of NATO. And honestly, today we had a very important meeting with NEFO 69 Sniffing Brigade. They brought a next convoy to Ukraine and there will be a video report on the channel I will be happy to share with you. But more and more Ukrainian soldiers and international soldiers and volunteers say that experience that Ukrainians have is unique and super important and that many countries of NATO that know war only theoretically cannot even predict what war in modern um, reality is with all these land, air, marine drones. Many tanks, many machines, many ships are not working anymore and according to the theoretical knowledge that are spread within the armies of these countries it's all okay we are strong we are good but war is already different and fortunately and unfortunately we know what it is and we can be of great use to your societies and your countries and I'm really glad to know that people from countries that know what Russia is that border Russia like Poland, like the Baltic countries, one again, once again, they already learn from Ukrainian instructors in case of emergency. And with this crazy Kremlin, with this crazy world, you have to be prepared. And also, we see that Russia targets whatever it wants in Ukraine, schools, hospitals. Why on earth our armed forces cannot target military objects, legitimate military objects, on the territory of Russian Federation if we have these missiles. Why? These are our armed forces and we are protecting our territory. And if you look back in the times of the Second World War, war did come back to the territory of Germany. That's the only way you have to come back to its place of origin. And in our case, it's Moscow. And with each day, with the help of Ukrainian drones and hopefully with the help of the supplies from our partners, they will feel what war is. Once again, we are not orcs, we're not going to target illegitimate civilian objects, but military things that they use to develop weapons, that they use to grow strengths against us, definitely we should. And actually, it's much better not to provide Ukraine with so many humanitarian aid when it is much easier and better and more efficient to help us stop missiles coming from uh, Russia to our territory, to help us prevent all these destructions, all these tragedies, and not to need to uh, cure people or to rebuild. It is better to stop it all and to stop it loud. And loud means in Moscow, in Russia. And I'm really grateful to President Macron, to James Cameron for speaking about this. And once again, it is not an escalation. Russia is constantly escalating. North Korea, China that aids Russia, they are escalating. They've started it all. And our task is to demonstrate our strength and resilience in stopping this evil. We are fighting only on the territory of our country to get our borders back. But they do have to be responsible for the crimes they commit. And that's why European politicians already understand that this war is real for them too. And Putin is not thinking only about Ukraine or only about Georgia or only about Baltics. He's thinking about the world just as all crazy dictators do. 
So united we stand. And I know you know that. Let me know what do you think about this possibility of international soldiers coming one day to Ukraine. And I hope this won't be to fight with orcs. I hope this will be just to learn our experience on how we have won over them. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and helping feel more. Remember to join me on Instagram, Threads, Twitter and Discord. And by the way, some NAFO updates and KF knitting on my Instagram already. We have a beautiful merch shop and all the links that you need are in the description of this video. Thank you for standing with Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!